I'm back with another review. I apologize for the delay in between my reviews, but I'm here the day after Christmas, bringing you yet another variation of the Sand Trooper, and there are many variations out there. This particular one has quite a checkered history, though. Uh, to start off with, you could only get them in 2005, the Revenge of the Sith line, and the Clone Trooper to Stormtrooper Evolutions pack. Now, that pack was re-released in 2007 during the 30th anniversary line. Uh, they also did another battle pack that year, the Capture of the Tanti 4. I have that right here. This is actually one of my favorite battle packs of all time. Now, earlier versions of this just had basically this guy coming on board without the shoulder pulled around on. So they look kind of dirty and messy and sandy, which you didn't see on the Tanti 4. Then they re-released the battle pack with a much brighter white paint job. That's this guy right here. He looks a lot more like a Stormtrooper. You can still tell he has the Sand Trooper roots, though. He does have a hole for the backpack in the back, as you see. These guys don't have the grenades, the concussion grenades on the back, which is okay. Uh, their belts are removable, but there is no holster for the E-11. That's one minor flaw with this guy, but it's not a big deal with me. Uh, the orange shoulder powder run's been a uh, topic of debate. Although it's accepted he is a squad leader, I've read online he is either... You know, some people say he's a Stormtrooper Sergeant, some people say he's a Stormtrooper Officer. Uh, there's even debate that he may be a Stormtrooper Commander, like the uh, Battle of Felucia from the, uh, uh, what's the video game? The Force Unleashed video game? <laughs> Sorry about that. I drew a blank. And this is just a different uniform for the Stormtrooper Commander, although I don't think so. I'd probably say he's a high-ranking Sergeant or Officer with, a, with the uh, orange shoulder belder on on. This guy's also been a poster boy for the uh, Sand Troopers and later released. As I said, there were a lot of releases of the Sand Trooper during the 30th anniversary, as well as the Legacy line. Now, this is this is a Legacy package I have. This is basically a, a Sand Trooper with a black shoulder pelt around on. But on back, they still show this guy. Here's his picture in the movie. It's true with other Saga Legends uh, figures as well. He's shown on the back as the base Sand Trooper. They changed the Sand Trooper uh, during the 30th anniversary. They, they made one with legs that weren't quite the same. They were more together and with a, uh, with a ball-jointed chest. I never really was a fan of that ball-jointed chest. After they made that, they kind of stuck with it, though. And this guy was just the poster boy. But uh, they had the ball-jointed chest, and he doesn't quite stand his attention the way I think a Stormtrooper should. The stance of this guy's legs and the fact that his chest doesn't swivel on him uh, makes him stand pretty good. That's why he is my favorite army builder, and that's why I have 40 of these guys in my collection now. Even though there is going to be a new Stormtrooper coming out, uh, based off the later uh, Legacy Collection Sand Trooper, and the one I showed you um, with the Vintage Collection as well, the one that rides the Dewback, I'm still going to stick with this guy, because I, I'm still not a fan of that ball-jointed chest. I am going to read off his articulation to you. This guy does have a ball-jointed neck, ball-hinged shoulders, ball-hinged elbows, swivel wrists, swivel hips, and ball-hinged knees and ankles. His equipment, of course, is the... Blast Tech T21, light repeating blaster rifle. Now for a while he was the only way to get this rifle as well. I know now he comes with like every Saga Legends figure comes with one of these, but they're all black. Um, I could have sworn when I first saw that this, this, this was like a soft goods gun strap, but it's actually hard. It's, it's not soft plastic. I thought it was like, you know, I thought it was. It's, it's soft plastic, but not, not the way I thought it would be. I thought it would be like an actual gun strap. And of course he comes with this survival backpack. There's also a debate about this backpack. Uh, I've read it's a survival backpack. I've also read it's a communications backpack. It might be a combination of each. But anyway, uh, this is one of my favorite sand troopers of all time. And um, as I said, I am going to continue to collect these guys for future Imperial lineups, even though different variations of the Stormtrooper and Sand Trooper are coming out. So stick with what I like. I do like the fact the newer ones can ride the Dewback, though. This guy gets a solid 8 out of 1 to 10. I still think he holds up well. The only thing, if they were to re-release him, I would I would ask for a more updated uh, holster for his gun, and well, maybe maybe if they were were to, to just re-release this guy, he could come with an E11, but that's kind of nitpicking. Overall, I still think he holds up well. This is Supreme signing out, and as always, thank you for tuning in.